In today's video, we are in the city of Bangkok, Thailand, about to head to one of the most popular night markets in the city, known as Jod Fair. There's supposed to be a whole bunch of delicious street foods and vendors selling all kinds of amazing things. I can't wait to go check it out. Now for those of you who don't know, Jod Ferris is actually an older night market that used to be called Rachada Train Night Market, but they have since moved to this new location and apparently it's supposed to be really exciting. Like it is right in front of me. Like look at this. We are entering this night market. I have to say, I think we came a little bit too early. I think everyone's still setting up. Like I saw online that it says it opened at four o'clock and I came right at four, like it's four o'clock right now. But I think everyone is still setting up. We might have to wait a little bit. Like walking around, I think I already see one spot that's open. I think it's that famous meat mountain. Oh man, look at that meat mountain. Oh man, look at how big this is. This is ginormous. What the heck? This must be like two foot tall or something. Oh man, I really want it, but I don't know if I can finish the whole thing. That looks so good. As you can see, this is the menu right here. And this is apparently that meat mountain. 1,000 Thai baht. Oh man, that is expensive. That's way too much for me. They got 290, they got 220 and a 150. I think I would try the 150 just because, you know, I, I'm here. I want to try a whole bunch of different food. So let's get the smallest one so we can still save room. Just sat down, they gave us a minute. There's so many things in here. For instance, this is the main page that I'm really interested in. The little meat rib, beef ribs, whatever. They got this, extra, extra large, extra large, large, and a medium. They also got braised chicken feet, fast food menu. Got a whole bunch of different variety of foods. Oh man, all which looks so good. But you know what we're here for. It's that meat mountain, except not the mountain. We're getting the small baby version because that mountain, I don't want to waste food. There's way too much for me to eat. But yeah, let's order the medium size, 150 Thai baht, and let's see how it goes. All right, our meat mountain just arrived. As you can see, I got the medium version, and the medium version is still super duper big. Like, look at how big this is. Oh man, that was absolutely delicious. And immediately, you can smell the chilies. Oh so so good i do apologize about music the music is very loud i might get demonetized for this it is what it is but i'm still going to showcase this spot anyways and i also ordered a watermelon smoothie for an extra 50 thai baht for a total 200 thai baht that is absolutely amazing oh man i don't even know how to tackle this um first things first uh let's just dig right in because this is so good like, look at this there's so many chilies on here oh wow that is insane oh man Let's uh, let's start taking it apart and eating it. Oh, there's way too many chilies here. Oh, I don't know if I can handle that. Look at this, look at how giant this bone is, this rib, oh wow. And they give you gloves too, that's how nice they are. And this, oh, this is piping hot. This is, it looks so delicious. Let's give it a bite. No, I don't even know how to tackle this. Um, where's the meat? Mmm, oh, mmm. Mmm, oh. <laughs> That is so good. Like this thing's been cooking for so, so long. The meat itself is incredibly soft, incredibly tender, very, very juicy, absolutely delicious. Mm. Oh. And plus, you got all the spices from the jalapenos and stuff, and the peppers. Mm. Oh man. Mm. So you get that really spicy thing. Like, this is not that weak spice. This is actually pretty, pretty spicy. Like, on the spiciness scale, it is up there. Ooh. But, oh man, absolutely delicious, super duper flavorful. Mm. I love how they give you so much broth and juice on it so you can pour over the meat rib. Oh man, that is so good. And look at this, they got a whole bunch of meat hidden in the crevices too. You gotta dig it out. This is gonna be one messy meal, like, trust me. This is not gonna be clean. You're gonna get your hands dirty, but it is so worth it, wow. Look at this, meat just tears right off the bone. Oh, oh. that is so, so delicious, oh man. This is fun, like especially if you have kids, they will have so much fun with this, just picking at the bone and digging out the meat. Mmm. Oh man. I can see why so many YouTubers and people all come here because of how good this beef rib is. Like, you know, I'm not a Strictly Dumpling, I'm not a Mark Weens, I'm not a Best Ever Food Review Show. You know, on their videos, they ordered the huge, gigantic beef rib mountain. But let's be honest, they're with multiple people so they can finish it off. I'm by myself. There's no way I can order that big of a meat mountain. But either way, this thing is absolutely delicious. Mmm. And it's super cheap for only 150 Thai baht. It is so worth it. Oh, man. And this watermelon smoothie, you know we gotta have this. Mm. That's just pure watermelon. Absolutely amazing. 
Mm. Like, there's a lot of work to be done because there's a lot of bone in here. But once you get past the bone, it is so worth it. Absolutely delicious. Oh man, that was so good. But anyways, let's go look for some more street food. The next location we're at is actually this really cool mango sticky rice restaurant and it's super duper cheap. It's only 125 baht for a mango sticky rice that looks like this. Look at how beautiful this one whole big piece of mango with sticky rice that's green colored and you also got some cream over here. Oh, it looks so, so good. Oh man, I can't wait to try it. Let's just start with the mango because oh, this mango looks absolutely delicious. Look at how orange this is. Oh, this looks good. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Oh, that mango is so fresh. So ripe. That is the softest mango I have tried yet. Wow. Let's get a little bit of that sticky rice too. Oh man. The sticky rice. Absolutely delicious. Super duper green though. Mmm. Love that sticky rice. You know, it has sticky rice if you never had it. It has this interesting flavor that's kind of hard to describe. But this is so good. Oh man. Get a little bit of rice, get a little bit of mango. Mmm. Oh. That is a flavor. So that is a good combination. You also got this little cream, I think, that's poured on. Oh, yes, baby. This looks absolutely beautiful. Dig in that mango again with that little cream that we just poured. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Oh, man. Mmm. Mmm. So, so good. Although, so, honestly, I think I like the sticky rice more because I don't know, something about the sticky rice, it tastes so, so good. And best part about it is it's right next to that big beef rib place. So you cannot miss it. It's so easy to find. But this, ooh, dip in that little creamer right there. Mmm. 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 Mm. Oh, man. You have no idea how good this is. Trust me. If you guys ever have a Thai location near you, Ask them if they have Thai sticky rice or mango sticky rice because I guarantee it is absolutely phenomenal. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. That mango is so juicy. Oh man, it's like it was born and raised just to be eaten because that is so flavorful. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. So good, but I'm telling you, it's all about that sticky rice. Up, we are at a dessert shop but you have no idea how hot it is this place is super duper i'm sweating bullets right now so i had to get something cold to eat and what i got was this shaved ice which is interesting because there's red syrup there's sweetened condensed milk and jelly it's a very simple shaved ice that's very cheap too only 50 times but that is absolutely amazing as you can see you got some nice little jelly balls over here oh you can still see the smoke from how cold it is oh man can the camera catch it that is absolutely delicious or amazing and let's try the shaved ice first with the red syrup and condensed milk oh that's actually quite good you know ice itself it's ice you know it's very cool very refreshing a little bit hard too it's kind of clumped up together but you gotta like kind of break it down into smaller pieces but by the way the flavor is nice you know flavor wise i have to say it kind of tastes like a cherry but kind of a uh, how to describe you know those medicines back in the states where that the pink medicine that cherry type of taste kind of tastes like that you know it's okay i mean yeah it's okay it's not my favorite but either way this will do because it is super hot right now i need something cold for serious mm. But let's try the jelly because jelly looks really cool. This is a bright orange red ball. Oh man, I wonder how it's going to taste. Oh, that's actually really good. Wow, that's literally like eating a gummy bear, except not in a bear form, but in a ball form. Very, very good. Although, I have to be honest, they don't give you a lot of those jellies. I wish they gave a little bit more because it's mostly just ice, red syrup, and condensed milk. It's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm mostly here for the ice, but oh man, I could do with some more in toppings though. Mm. Oh, absolutely amazing. So, so worth it. Oh. If you guys ever come to Jot Ferris, make sure you come when it's nighttime and not in the afternoon like I did because it is just crazy hot right now. Oh man, I am boiling up right now. But this shaved ice though, not bad. It's a lifesaver. Oh man. Mm. They also got this other filling. I don't know what it is. 
It looks like a tofu skin, but I think it's jelly too. Yeah, some type of jelly. By the way, not bad for 50 Thai baht. Oh man, having something cold to cool me down was absolutely worth it. Anyway, let's keep on moving and see what else we can find. And coming up, I see something really interesting. It looks like those dancing shrimps that you eat. That is cool. Like, look at this. There's so many shrimp in here. Oh, wow. And you can order different types of things like spicy shrimp salad, seaweed, cooked shrimp, fried shrimp, and so much more. I want to try the spicy shrimp salad. That was good. Hello. Can I get uh, one of the salad? All right, I'm excited. I can't wait to see how she makes this shrimp salad. Let's see. She grabs the box first, adding in some vegetables. I don't know what this is. Maybe some type of powder? A whole bunch of chilies. Maybe some onions? I can't see what she's doing over there, so I'm not really sure what she's adding. But let's see. She's adding some type of oil, I think, maybe? Some type of dressing? Next up, there's some sauce. Oh man, this looks to be really delicious. Oh, what's the moment we've been waiting for? It's a live shrimp. Do you see how much shrimp is in that basket? Still jumping around like crazy. Wow. She grabbed a bowl full and I'm assuming she's gonna put in the box. Yep, oh, there it is. Okay, thank you. All right, just got myself some spicy shrimp salad. Oh my God, this shrimp is raw. It's still jumping around inside. Oh man, I don't know if I can eat this. I'm scared, but we're gonna try it. Now, the only problem is I need to find a place to sit and all the tables are full. Oh man, this is gonna take a while. The next shop we're at is actually a very popular shrimp place, which actually I don't know the name, but they serve live shrimp. Like it's still jumping around if you can see, I don't know. It's kind of sleeping right now. Oh yeah, look, it's jumping around. Oh man, and it's supposed to be some type of spicy shrimp salad. I have never tried this, but I'm actually kind of scared to eat this. Cause look, they're all moving around. Oh man, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Let's see. Let's try to open this up and oh man, how do I even open this? As you can see, the shrimp itself still moving on inside. That looks so scary. Oh wow. Anyways, let's give it a bite, I guess, because we're here anyways. Might as well try some authentic Thai food. If this is even Thai, I'm not sure. But anyways, let's give it a good mix. Oh man, there's some chili. Oh wow, it just jumped out. There's some chili. There's some I don't know what that is. Some type of powder. Oh man. Okay, this is this is actually hard to mix, but it's very cheap. It's only 80 Thai baht, which I think is a kind of a great deal considering if you like seafood and shrimp. Oh man, the shrimp is jumping all over out of the box. By the way, let's see how it tastes. We got a nice little spoonful. I don't want to put too much. I'm a little scared. And let's give it a try. Oh, 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 that is spicy. Ooh, that is very spicy. Oh man. I need something to drink. Oh wow, the flavor is actually really, really nice. It's like, think of a shrimp concentrated times 50 times 100. There's so much shrimpy flavor in here. It's crispy, it's crunchy. Oh man, very, very good. They got the spice. In all honesty, I don't like that spice whatsoever. Not for me. I, I know Thai people will like it, but this is just way too spicy for me. Oh man, I throw it on fire right now. But I do like the shrimp. And I think after mixing around, they all kind of fell asleep. <laughs> I, had some, I had some shrimp right on the table just dancing around. <laughs> it's hilarious to look at. Oh man, this is actually really fun. If you have kids traveling with you, this would be a perfect item to get just for them to have fun with and play around. <laughs> oh man, I don't know if I'll get this again. You know, not personally my favorite. It's, it's okay, you know. Maybe if it wasn't spicy, this would be so much bigger. I can do like the shrimp. It's nice and flavorful, very shrimpy. It's just a spice, ooh. Not a fan of spice, no. <laughs> but at least I can say I tried it, right? Coming right up, I think it's time for some barbecue skewers. Oh, this smells so good from here. As you can see, they got so many different varieties. I think this is all one type. We got some more skewers over there. Oh man. Oh, you know we definitely gotta try this. Hello. How much is this? Twelve. Hot twelve. Yeah. Twelve for one. Yeah. What is this? Chicken pork. Chicken pork. Can I have one chicken and one pork? Thank you. Next up, we're at a popular barbecue skewer place and they have so many different kinds. And I got two different ones. I got one chicken and one pork, both of which are very cheap. Each one of these skewers are still only 12 baht each. 12 baht, that is an insane deal. Oh man, 
Oh, it's, I still have the spice from that shrimp. Oh man, that is so super, super duper spicy. Now let's take one out. As you can see, this is the chicken. It looks absolutely delicious. It's been coated with some type of red marinade sauce. Oh, it looks so nice. Like, look at it. I don't know if the camera can see, but it's glistening in that juice. Oh, this is shiny. You know it's gonna be moist. Let's give it a try. Mmm. You know, it's not bad. Like, chicken is so. I have to say, it's not the tenderest, it's a little bit hard, but the flavor is absolutely spot on. It has that some type of sweet glaze on it, probably a honey or something. It's very sweet, but pairs perfectly well with the chicken. Outside, a little bit charred and grilled, so you got a little bit of a crispy sensation. Oh, well, not bad. It's a good chicken. It's just, I think they cooked it a little bit too long. You know, if they cooked it a little bit less, it would be absolutely perfect. Because, you know, flavor is absolutely really delicious. It's just it's a little bit too hard for my liking. And I'll finish this in a little bit. Let's do the other one before it gets cold. And the next one we have is the pork. As you can see, this is the pork. It looks absolutely delicious. Just like the chicken, it is shiny. Absolutely juicy and moist. Look at how beautifully shiny and wet this is. Oh, man. Let's give this a try because I can't wait any longer. Mmm. Oh, oh. Do y'all see that? Mmm. Oh. Way better than chicken. Way, way better than the chicken. This thing is absolutely delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. So good. Unlike the chicken, this pork one is actually super soft, super tender, and it's so juicy. Oh, it's like this pork drank a whole bunch of water and was ready for me to eat it. That is so juicy. Oh, man. And just like the chicken, it's a little bit charred on the outside. You got a little bit of a crispy sensation. Overall, very, very good. Mmm. Mmm. I am really liking the pork. Chicken is good too. Whatever sweet sauce they put on it, absolutely spot on. But the pork, this is where you need to go. If you come here, you gotta try the pork barbecue skewer. Absolutely perfection on a stick. Wow. Oh man. And with that being said, you know, the only thing I don't like about this market is that there's very few seatings. Like most of the tables are already full and they just won't leave. So, you know, I have to walk around for ages. I found this one little restaurant inside the market where there, there's nobody here for some reason. Maybe the food's bad, I don't know. But it's all empty. So I asked the owner if I could sit here and they said, yeah, so it is what it is. But oh man, they're absolutely really good barbecue skewers. Next up, you know we had to get mochi. I was walking by, I saw them make it. I was like, oh wow, they make it fresh right in front of you. That is so amazing. And it's very cheap too. For three of these gigantic pieces of mochi, it's only 100 Thai baht. That is an absolutely amazing deal. Like, look at how big these mochis are. Oh wow. I think each one of them inside has strawberry. I'm not sure. But let's try it out. So I got matcha, I got chocolate. I don't know what the middle flavor is. But let's try the matcha one because it looks really nice. And she made it fresh right in front of us. Oh man, let's give it a bite. Added some powder and coatings too. Oh, oh. let's see. Mmm, mm. oh wow, that is so good. Oh man, on the outside, it's so soft, so chewy and mochi, like absolutely does. If you guys never had mochi, you are totally missing out. Inside, there's like, I think it's wrapped as two layers. So there's two layers of mochi. One is a dark green color and one is a light brown. I think both of them are matcha or green tea flavored. Very, very good. But the star of the show is definitely this strawberry. This strawberry on the inside, super duper juicy. Oh man, I haven't had a strawberry that juicy in so long. It's soft, it's tender, it's ripe, to fit for perfection. Mmm. 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 Absolutely worth it. Wow. Three for 100. Super good deal. Next up, we got the chocolate one because chocolate looks so, so delicious. And this one is even bigger than the matcha. Oh man. I'm assuming it's wrapped as two layers. It has a strawberry on the inside just like the matcha. I don't know. But let's see. Mmm. 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 Oh wow. Mmm. Wow, that was so good. Just like the green or matcha one, outside wrapper is so chewy, so mochi, like very soft. And there's two layers, like, I don't know if you can see, there's a mochi wrapper, and on the inside, there's a chocolatey layer too. Very, very good, but I'm telling you, it's all about the strawberry filling. I don't know where they got these strawberries. Maybe they're Japanese strawberries. I'm not sure, Thai strawberries. Either way, this is phenomenally tasty. Absolutely worth three for 100, come on. That is a steal. This is so tasty, wow. Next up, you know we gotta get coconut, and that's where we are right over here. Oh man, we got a whole bunch of different coconuts. We got coconut blend with milk, coconut blend without milk, fresh coconut juice, coconut, and they're all pretty cheap, only 35 Taiwanese or Thai bot. That is great. 
Oh man, all of these look so, so good. Hello, can I just get one coconut? One coconut juice? One coconut. Yeah, one coconut. 45 baht. 45, okay. Yeah. We just got a fresh coconut. As you can see, it is a legit coconut. That is so cool. Anyways, it's, a, it's 45 Thai baht, which is still very cheap. Anyways, let's give it a try. I've never had coconut like this before. I'm very curious. Oh, that is so good. Literally pure coconut essence. Very light and subtle in flavor, but so, so nice. Mm. It's a little bit chilled too. Perfect for this hot weather day. But oh man, this coconut is heavy. I don't know if I can carry around this long. I need to hurry up and drink it. Oh, that is a perfect way to end this night market video. Literally, if you guys are ever in Thailand and go to Bangkok, head to Jod Ferry and get yourself a coconut juice. This is so delicious. 45, absolutely worth it. Mm. Perfect way to end the video. And with that being said, I had such a fun experience here at Jod Ferris. All the foods and vendors were so, so cool, especially the foods. That beef rib mountain, the shrimp was a little scary, but it was cool. That coconut and so much more. Oh, I had such a blast here. If you guys ever come to Thailand, head to Bangkok, come to Jod Ferris. You will absolutely love it. And with that being said, I am so stuffed. I'm gonna go back to my hotel and take a rest. So I'm gonna end the video there. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it and see you on the next Thailand video.